Hey guys, so I kind of want this video to be quick because I did it like four times, but um, I wanted to ask you guys a question. Now, I've been looking into seeing if my clothes, like what kind of dyes they're made out of because I want to make sure that the dyes even going, even going into my clothes are vegan because you know how some dyes like FDNC red test on animals like FDNC number 40 like stuff like that and I'm I love this girl named Alicia Silverstone well she's a woman and she's a vegan and organic buyer and she has a website called The Kind Life because she has a book called The Kind Life. And I suggest you guys go on that website, thekindlife.com. And um, I'm subscribed to her, so emails come to me. And an email was said that this 13-year-old girl, she um, made her own clothing line that's organic. And it's like the dyes and the clothes are made with like fruits and natural things, which it should be because... If dyes have to be tested on animals, if anything has to be tested on animals, it's unhealthy for us to consume or to wear or anything. Like, if they all have to be tested on animals. So, um, yeah, so it was saying, like, how the dyes and the clothing, they're, uh, they're made with, sorry, they're made with, um, vegan, you know, vegan things like, fruits and all that stuff so she sent that and alicia uh silverstone also in the kind life she sh uh shared this video of a little boy talking about why he doesn't eat octopus and he was saying like you know the octopus was alive and stuff so you guys should check that out too like why little kid doesn't want to eat octopus or something like that it should be under on youtube but yeah that was really touching too and um also, I wanted to know if anybody knows about Scott's products, like Scott's paper towels, tissues, because I called them and they were saying like, like she was telling me something, but I didn't really understand what she was saying. And then she said, I could give you a website tool, like that, a website that would answer my question, which is the company's website, Kimberly, Kimberly-Clark.com uh, slash sustainability dot ASPX. So, um, that's supposed to tell me, so I, sh um, maybe I'll look that up, but, you know, writing a message to the company is better because the people on the phone, they're just, like, the people who answer the phones. They're not, like, in charge of anything, or they're only in charge of, like, you know, answering questions, and, like, sometimes they even have to ask someone else, like, she had to do with me. So, just like Visionary Voice said to me, like, it's better to message or email somebody because they'll have that message forever. And it's in writing. And, and something in writing is always better. Like, if you get a, a letter other than a text message, the letter is going to be, like, it's going to be more touching because, like, unless it's, like, a horrible letter. But, like, sending sweet letters, it's going to be more touching because um, you have it with, you have it there as proof that somebody like you know wrote this to you and stuff like that so they'll keep that forever and they may even switch their ways like if it's a company that tests on animals they'll say wow this person wrote a message or an email to me saying how they're really into how animals deserve equal rights and we need to change our ways you know so um, it'll be nice if you guys write to Scott's too, you know, so like more than one person can have a say on why they believe animal testing is wrong and using animal ingredients in their products. If they do, because I'm not sure. So that's why I want to know if you guys know if they use animal testing or animal ingredients. So if the vegan peach knows or visionary voice, please tell me because I would love to hear that. So yeah, basically that's it. But, um, I don't really use Scott's, and my mom does, like, she uses their paper towels, I don't, I don't use their paper towels at all anymore, and, um, I use, like, an, I, like, really want to find a brand of paper towels that I can use, and, you know, I can keep buying, so if you guys know any of that, too, please tell me, and thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon, oh, yeah, I wanted to tell you a story, so I had this ant on my finger that I guess I was picking up you know plastic things to recycle in school and I sell them like in our school and then I guess the ant was on one so it was on my finger and I was in the girls bathroom by the sink um to rinse my finger off I don't really use their soap but I wanted to rinse my fingers off from touching the trash and then I saw the ant so I put the ant on the sink and then I was like like why did I do that like the ant like that's not good for the ant the ant is so tiny and then the sink is so like gigantic so I got the ant with my um paper and I opened the girl's window 
the girl's bathroom window which is so loud like I was like oh my gosh <laughs> but it was so loud and I opened it and then I tried to let the ant like go out to the window but the ant wouldn't budge going off the paper <laughs> and I wouldn't blame the ant because that's a really scary feeling but so then I ripped some of the paper and left it left the paper there like you know with the ant on it so the ant could you know the ant will go off by their self. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you that story because, you know, I didn't want to harm an ant. Like, they, they, we all have feelings. No matter how big, no matter how small, we're living. And I feel that, you know, we deserve what we deserve, which is, like, to be respected by all. Like, it's it's horrible how some people do some things. And I know I keep saying like and stuff, but I'm, I'm sorry because um, I didn't really plan how I was going to say this video, but I wanted to have a video for you guys to see. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. And please subscribe to see more ways that you can help save animals. And, like, questions from me to you and questions from you to me. Like, if you have any questions, just ask me, please. And I hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs>